This is the reading podcast for chapter 3, and we're talking about displaying and describing categorical data. We'll talk about bar charts and pie charts, which you're probably familiar with, and some things that are new to you, like contingency tables, um, segmented bar charts, and side-by-side -side bar charts. So the three rules of data analysis are make a picture, make a picture, make a picture. There are things that you will not be able to see about your data unless you draw a picture. It's very important you draw a picture whenever possible. Um, the first way of, of displaying categorical data is in a frequency table where you have the different categories and how many are in each one. Okay? Um, very related is a relative frequency table. Whenever you see relative frequency, you should think of percentages. So a relative frequency table has the, the categories here and the percents in the, on this side. Okay. Um, before we get into bar charts and the other kinds of ways of displaying, um, the area principle is very important. And the book says that the area principle um, is that the area occupied by that part of the graph should correspond to the magnitude of that value. Okay. The problem with, with this one is that it's, yes, it's measuring it by length, but the height is also changing, and so it's not proportional. That um, this one, although it's twice as long, it's four times as big. And although this one is three times as long, it's nine times as large. So this violates the area principle. Also, you will see pie charts like this that are kind of turned on the side because it looks nicer, but because of this height here, it violates the area principle. So here's some that don't violate the area principle are bar charts, which I'm sure you're aware of. You've made them before. It's very important that there are gaps in between them. Okay, um, and I'll let you think about why that is in the question um, with this section. Um, a relative frequency bar chart, again, relative frequency, you think of percents. And so this is a bar chart with percents on the y-axis instead of counts. Pie charts, I'm sure you're aware of. Um, now, be, be um, careful that you only use a pie chart when the, um, the thing you're re representing is part of a whole. So in this case, these are all parts of the whole population on the ship, and so it makes sense to do a pie chart here. Okay. A contingency table is where you're looking at um, a set of counts from two variables. In this case, alive and dead. And then in this variable is first set class, second class, third class, class, and crew. Okay. Each of these values is called a cell. So those that um, died from first class are in this cell or 122. Okay. Um, or that were alive in the second class or 118 um, in those cells. Okay. Along the edges are the totals, um, and these are marginal distributions. Okay. And I like that word because I think of margins of a paper are on the edges. Okay. So you have the totals along the margins, and these show you the marginal distributions. Okay. Um, you can also look at contingent, uh, sorry, conditional distributions where you're looking specifically at one variable. For example, we're looking at uh, percents according to those that lived and those that died. Okay. So you it's out of 100%, and this, you can use this to better compare, not the counts, but the percentages of those in first, second, third class, and crew. Okay, Or you can look at um, the distribution according to everyone. So out of everyone being 100%, um, what are the different percents in each um, cell and along the, marginal, along the, along the margins? Okay, A side-by-side -side bar chart is where... Um, you know, among first class, they have them right next to each other, so you can very easily compare them, okay? A very useful way of comparing um, two variables, okay? Finally, a segmented bar chart where you have, you know, you're segmented according to one variable. In this case, they're doing alive and dead, and then they're segmenting that according to the percentages that are in each category um, vertically.